Hello everyone and welcome to Steam Bargain Bin. I'm Thousand Daggers and this is Game Corp DX. This game is by Endless Loop Studios. You can see right here, this is by uh, the same people that did Blueprint Tycoon. Uh, Blue Blueprint Tycoon is uh, in the Survivor Squad apparently, uh, which I don't know much about. I know about Blueprint Tycoon. I might do that for a Steam Bargain Bin as well at some point. I've been looking at that. It's just so minimal. It's like minimalist simulator, and I'm not really interested in a min minimalist simulator. Uh, this, I, I don't know. I've heard good things about Game Corp DX. I've heard some really bad things about it. We'll find out in this episode, that's for sure. All right, so let's start the game. Uh, campaign, we'll do that. Endless loops, we're gonna name ourselves uh, the Dagger. Dagger games. No, let's let's do um TD games. That's what we'll do. Uh, studio icon. Sh sure, that doesn't look like a dagger. Do we have anything that looks like a dagger? We'll do that. Uh, normal difficulty is fine. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, so this is my assistant. I'm here to help you create the best game development studio ever. Really? That's quite, that's quite, can, can we just settle for like, making, mo like, a living wage? Or not a living wage. Can we settle on like, living off of, of a good salary? <laughs> In order to get your studio up and running, you need to work, you need workers. So let's hire some. So we need to hire some. Click on an empty workstation. Uh, we need to hire a worker. Uh, here you can see the workers' skills, traits, and how much they are a a asking for. So this person's, uh, let's see, hungry regular trips to the fridge. Okay. Uh, I don't, it looks like nobody has any skills, so we just go hire the cheapest guy, except for the fact that this guy is hungry all the time. So he'll, he'll, he won't work as hard because he'll have to get up and go grab some snacks. You would think that someone like that, just get a mini fridge. Just get a mini fridge. If you give him a mini fridge, or he can buy his own. I mean, I'm paying him 650, I don't know, I don't know if that's per day or what. We only have 1500, so that's something to keep in mind, right? We could hire, let's, let's get this guy. Now do the same thing and hire another worker on the second empty workstation. Uh, okay, we'll get the hungry guy, he's cheap, we're cheap. Uh, build. Oh, we got a lot. We got a lot of money. Uh, good. Your workers will start coming in soon. Now we need to get them to work on a project. Click on the project manager button here. So we hit E. Oh my God, the scrolling around is obnoxious. Uh, so we need to start a new project. Uh, scale requires workers. Currently, you have two workers. So you can only make micro scale games, which also provide bonus XP. Okay. So we want to do shooter, racing, horror, adventure, puzzle, action, role playing. Oh man, so many decisions. Let's do a simulator, and we'll name it. We'll name it Fluffy Simulator 2016. We're gonna, we're, it's gonna be a simulator simulating a fluff ball. That is what we're, the fluff, you know, like, if you were to take, like, uh, just take all of the hair of, of, uh, of, like, the size of a cat, and it was just that, and you would just, you roll up on a ball and you go collect things. And some people might say, well, that's, that's, uh, what is it, what is it called? Calamari. That's calamari. I'll be like, no, it's different, because this is a simulator. And, and that's, that, that will be what I'll say. Uh, oh, click here. Each genre has a bar indicating the amount of work needed for that particular task. Okay, um, shooter games, for instance, require a lot of code, but not much writing. This is fair. Uh, pick a genre, write a name, and click continue. We've already done this, so let's hit continue. Uh, Fluffy Simulator 2016. Uh, it's gonna require a lot of coding, a little bit of art, uh, this, which I don't know, and writing. Sound! It's sound, okay. Um, here you select the team that will work on this project and which w tasks 
each worker will do. So we're gonna need a lot of coding. So let's get coding done. Let's have them both work on coding. We're not done. We've already selected have one worker do code and one and and sound. Oh. We can have them do multiple things. We hardly need Oh, I guess I guess since we only have two workers, we have to do it this way. And because it's a tutorial, I guess we have to do it this way, right? So we'll do it. Um uh, this is the tool selection screen. Better tools yield better quality games. Uh, we don't have, uh, tools require specialization, which your workers currently do not have. So just click create. Yeah, this is, this is writing in notepad, sound in weave creator, art and paint. This is hilarious. Sounds like me trying to edit a video. <laughs> How did I write, Tony? <laughs> so someone has already finished their job, which was writing an art. He's really working hard on that coding. He's literally the, he should get, well, he is getting paid more after all. So I guess it's fine. So now he's working on sound. This guy, I, I, I wish I could be like, okay, so now that you're done with the art and the uh, writing, help do the, do the sound. Your project is finally complete and ready to, to be published. Click on the publish button on the project summary panel. Um, this is the publish screen here. You can view the final quality and choose your marketing budget. Uh, well, small. I think we have the money to market a little bit. We can at least do some marketing on 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 Steam to get to get this game green light, right? I mean, it's 28 stars. It's pretty good. 28, 28 people, at least 28 people will like this game. This is what this means, right? Uh, so publish, uh, polish. Unlocks in San Francisco. We don't have that. Uh, so let's just publish the game. We have to continue. The Since this project was made by an inexperienced team, it is of, it has low quality. No, it's 28. 28 quality. That's the best quality I've seen in this game ever. So it's gotta be really high, right? Always try to match the marketing budget with the project quality for this project pick none. Really? Okay, so... Hmm, I guess the reasoning there is we're not gonna get paid a lot for this game. Like, we could spend 1200 on it and probably only get like 500 back, so we'll lose money. <laughs> Fluffy Simulator 2016! Plus 20 hearts! Uh, total crumpet. Uh, one, half a star. If you want a good game, Fluffy Simulator 2016 is not for you. Use your $5 to buy something decent instead. Fluffy Simulator 2016 is just a painful awful. Pa plain awful, I don't understand what was going on in the devs' heads. Uh, they're thinking about how hungry they were and how they needed to get paid. Uh, Boulder Paper Shotgun, um, this is... <laughs> um... Fluffy Simulator 2016, Fluffy Simulator 2016, bloody awful, mate. Uh, games this bad should be illegal. I don't agree with that, but that's fine. Your game has been published and it is generating re revenue. You can view the project stats in the stats window. Oh, we've made, we've made, we've made negative $2,400. We we spent twenty four hundred. Oh look, we made some we made some money. We had two hundred thirty dollars. Look at that. <laughs> Toll sales forty six. Nothing. Reviews shit. Okay. I have unlocked the build button. Click on it. Okay. So now we can build, right? Let's uh add what's this training cubicle? Six thousand. Time to learn some new tools. Now I'll teach you how to train your workers in specialization. I feel like my hand's getting held too much on this game. I kind of wish, I kind of wish I could do my own thing. There's probably a sandbox mode. Well, I did click campaign, but I, I think going through a tutorial is probably a good plan. Whatever. Uh, specialization allows you workers to use better tools to do that particular tasks. He can still perform tasks that are not his specialty, but he will not gain experience. 
Leave build mode by clicking on the build button again to select your training cubicle. Click to train a worker. Pick the worker to train him in the specialization of your choosing. So Mike Z, or it has probably got the best. Uh, let's choose, we should make up code because he's already got a lot of code. So we'll train him in code, cost 3,000. What's this, United? I guess that's just the tool that he'll learn. If we choose, is it different? Yeah, I see, okay. Train. Your worker will now start learning a new specialization. After he is done, you can choose, use him to create a game with the newly learned tool. So we're gonna do something that requires a lot of coding. Since we're going to be, uh, that's gonna be what we're good at. A new rival studio is opening business next month. Uh, click on the global charts button to view the global studio and game charts. Uh, TD games. Uh, I don't see, close the window, I don't see a uh, rival here. Looks like we made some money. Uh, oh. Monthly report. Uh, we spent 13,000. Yes! We only made $920 off our game. Uh, continue. Pub uh, so yeah. Okay, close. Open the studio info panel. Here you can view info about your studio, get a loan or and more. Loans are good. If you, if you have, if you can, um, Get the revenue for it. I don't know if we want to start getting loans yet because we're just starting off. Uh, so we'll just. So they're all showing. I think they're showing up for work. We need a new project. So we need to start a new project. Uh, something that requires a lot. Of we ha we've already made a simulator. So I feel like we should make a strategy, right? What's this twenty six? I really don't know what these these hearts are. Oh, there it is. 308 hearts. Yeah, I think we want to get hearts. Okay, I think that's what it is. So we want to get hearts. You get rewarded hearts. So if we made another simulator game, people would be like, oh, it's just another simulator game and wouldn't be, it wouldn't give us any prestige. I'm guessing that's what hearts are, prestige, basically. So if we wanted to maximize our prestige, we want a role-playing game. But role-playing games doesn't have a lot of coding and we have an expert coder. Well, not an expert, but he's, he's learned some coding, right? So, or he will. I don't know if he has it now. Yeah, we, we lost a lot of money. That's the thing that happened. Uh, so, that might not be what we want to do. We don't want to do an action for the same reasons. Requires a lot of sound and art. A little bit of coding and very little writing. Um, so that makes me think we want to do shooter. We'll, we'll name it, we'll name it, um... Pow, pow, goes the plow. Everyone knows that, that, that catchy, catchy title. We might be able, we should hire more people. No, maybe not. We, we still haven't even started making profit, so how could we, how could we expand, right? Let's just keep the two people we've got and just see how well we do, right? So we'll keep doing a micro. I guess the reason why you'd want to expand is so you can do larger scale and get more money. But we're still small. Uh, I think the shooter is the best option uh, for a game. So let's continue that. Uh, we'll get that started. Uh, we need to. Where's the. Oh. Back. I take this back. We should build another one of these, right? So this guy will train him in. Ooh, that's a good point, actually. Hold on, let's let's look at this these new projects. Okay, we could train him in writing. We could get a good art role playing game if we have a coder and a writer. Uh, the art and the sound is not as important. So let's trade this guy to be a writer. He'll use word processors instead of, uh, I think, I think it's what's supposed to be. Instead of anything else. Okay, uh, instead of, instead of notepad. Uh, so, uh, this will cost a thousand dollars. We have the money. So let's train. Alright, so we train. Okay, everyone's been trained, right? Okay, so let's start a new project. A shooter is what we're gonna do. Oh no, we're gonna do an RPG, that's right. 
Because that's the most hearts. I, I really don't know what this will do, but that will be the hearts we do. Okay, so let's continue. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Back, 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 back. We didn't name it anything. Tribe? We'll make it tri tribal tribal mayhem. No, that sounds like a, that doesn't sound like a, a role-playing game. Tribal, tribal destiny. There we go. Tribal destiny. Let's do this. Uh, continue. Okay, so you will definitely put on, we'll, we'll just do the same thing right here. We'll make you charge of coding and, and writing. Um, oh shit. Do we totally lock out the rest of their skills because we trained them in a specialty? I didn't realize that was going to be a thing. Are they still going to be able to do those things? Or are they too specialized now? I have no idea. Well, if that's the case, hold on. We're going to do this instead. We're going to hire back, 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 back. Close. Hire a worker. Uh, sleeps a lot. Nobody has skills. Um, I'll tell you what. I think we can just hire these guys and fine. That's fine. Indie size. Look at that. Oh, you guys can't see that. Indie size is an achievement. We got, okay, so let's got our new uh, project going. So role playing, They'll, those guys, one of them will be in charge of art, which will probably be the not so lazy guy. Or do we hire no lazy guys? I can't remember now. I'm just lost. We're making a role playing game. Oh, wait, hold on. Did it save our title? It did not. Uh, what was our title again? Tribal Destinies, that's what it was. Okay, there we go. Um, there, there. You, it, I don't know if it matters. There's no penalties to either one of you, so eh. <sighs> Team is already full. Oh, I didn't, okay, so we, they have to do these things. All right, well, that's the case, that's the case. Um, we, we want that and that. Create. I didn't know we could have two people per, Per project. Oh, that's probably because it's micro. Hold on. Can we can we cancel this project? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh well. Let's get it started. So we got three. Okay, so we actually do. Hold on, we can do another project then, right? Uh, so while we're doing this game, let's do one that's art and sound heavy, shall we? So we'll do an action game as well. Beat pine, pines be beaten. That's 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 this that's this thing. <laughs> All right, so so you'll be in charge of of art and writing, and we'll do sound and coding for you as well. So these two, one will be an art. We'll, we'll make one specialized in artist and one specialized in sound. And so we'll have four guys working on one project. I believe you probably have to make a small project instead of a micro. I'm, just, I'm new to this. I don't know. We'll just see. So yeah, this is the planning stages, and this is the actual making. Getting some points. We'll see if we can beat 24. Let's do this really fast. Basically, everyone has their job, so that we just don't, we just let them go. Uh, looks like it's ready for polish. So, 40. That's better. This is even better. Uh, so, let's not do a marketing again. All right, here. How is it? How is it? We got one star. We got another star. We got half a star. This is a way better game. Buyer beware. Tribal Destiny is a horrible game. The role-playing genre is more with than crowded with crappy games. Um, this game represents, why is it only plus 28? It said 60, maybe it's because of the quality, I don't know. Oh well. Uh, I used to think every game had its merits, then I played Tribal Destiny, good lord. Uh, <laughs> clearly this project had no direction whatsoever, everyone behind Tribal Destiny should be fired. It's like two people in a base, well, not in a basement, it's got its own office building, at the very least. Well, th there's that. <laughs> um, let's see, after they come back, I kinda wanna see, uh, ooh, I spent so much money. 
We have been spending so much money. Okay. Well, anyways, okay, we got another game that's ready to go. Let's see how this one does. How did we do? We got another 19. No, no, none, and none. No stars. We hit rock bottom, people. There's only one way to move. <laughs> uh, so, other than the episode there, Pines be beaten, nobody liked it. Not even a little bit. <laughs> uh, so, this was Games Corp. This was by uh, Endless Loop Studios. Uh, it was fun. I enjoyed it. It was great. I, I'm not gonna get rewarded at stars or anything because this is this is mundane. This is a mundane way of thinking. You know, if you enjoy a game, you enjoy a game. Doesn't matter what other people say. S stop, stop listening to other people. Stop listening to me. Why are you listening to me? You just shut off my audio. Don't, don't, don't do that. T Tony, Tony. rambling on. I'm just rambling on. Who's gonna who's gonna debate me? You can't debate me. You have no voice. This is my video, boss. You can't stop me. Tony can stop me. Tony's king. Tony controls what I say. He can literally like cut and fragment my audio shit and Paying Tony shit. I owe him 100 million. That would take way too long though. Anyways, I'm in the episode here. Uh, so this is Game Corp, uh, Endless Loop Studios. Uh, it was fun, man. It was fun. I enjoyed it. It was, it was $3 on Steam. $3. I bought it for $1.50. It was a half off. That's how that's how I roll. Get this game if you if you want a cheap, cheap game simula simulator management simulator. That's it. So, yeah. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.